Okay, our learning objective is I can calculate change. First thing we're going to have to be sure of is what is change? Well, change is the money you get back when you pay a little bit too much. Why do I pay too much? Well, if I bought something for £10 and all I had was a £20 note, I'm not just going to go, ah, oh, well, I'll just keep the £20. Okay? The shopkeeper, she will need to give me back a certain amount of money. So if it costs £10, you know, it costs £10, I've only got £20, I'm going to get £10 back in change. Okay? So it is the money that is given back to me. It's the money I am owed. Uh, in a transaction if I pay a bit too much. Okay, here's your first little challenge. First thing for you to pause and do, I would like you on a piece of paper, could you write down every single coin and note that we have got? Pause. Right, let's have a look. So we've got a, a 1p, a 2p, a 5p, 10p, check you've got these all right. 20p, there's a 50p, there's a pound. And of course there is a two pound coin as well. And then a note, we've got a five pound note, a ten pound note, we've got a twenty pound note, and we've got a fifty pound note. Okay, the pounds are the currency of our country, the United Kingdom. Okay, you might recognise some of them. They look a bit like this. They've often got the Queen on. They don't always have the Queen on. This is also pounds from Northern Ireland. Okay, uh, it might, doesn't have the Queen on it, but it is still pounds, it is still currency. There are lots of different types of currencies. Look, I've got dollars, and I've got uh, here, this is Polish, and we've got a Vietnamese dong, and here are euros, and there's loads of different types of notes in lots of different uh, countries. But what we have are called pound sterling. Okay, I go into the shop, I've got a two pound coin, I buy something for 80p. The shopkeeper gives me one pound 20 change. He gives me three coins. Quick challenge. You've got to tell me what three coins does he give me. I want more than one answer. Pause. Well, the options are they could have given me two 50p's to make a pound and a 20p. Or could have given me a pound and two 10p's. Those are the two options that I can think of right now for your quick challenge. Okay. Next. I've got another little bit of a challenge, so we're just going to stick with recognising the money and the coins, because remember, these are coins, uh, whereas, let's say, if I had, uh, for example, £3.27, that is an amount, okay, that is the cost of something. I would use coins to get to that amount, okay? Even if something was £1, well, £1 could be made up of lots of different coins. Technically, there could be 100 coins in a pound, couldn't there? I could have 100 pennies. I could have 52 peas. Yeah, I could have 10 10 peas. I could have 5 20 peas. It could be made of two 50s, or it could be made of £1. There are lots of different coins that can make an amount. Let's just keep going with these numbers on the board. So I'm also going to have here £4.26, £1.26. Uh, 78 and five pound 55. Right, your next challenge, sticking with coins and notes right now. Um, can you make these with only five coins? Is it possible to make these amounts with five coins? I want you to have a little go. Tell me which ones you can make with five coins and show me the five coins and are there any that you can't make with five coins? Pause. Right, let's have a look. Did you make it with five coins? Well, can I make this one? Let's have a look. I could have um, a one pound, a two pound, make a three pound. I could have a 20p, I could have a 5p, and I could have a 2p. Tick, I can do that one with five coins. Uh, what about this one? Let's have a think. Well, I could have a two pound and a two pound, okay? That's gonna make it four pounds. Then I could have a, a 20p, a 5p, and a 1p. Brilliant, tick. I can do that one as well. 
let's have a look. Um, I'm going to jump all the way over to this one because I can, I can see this one straight away. I'm going to have um, a two pound, a two pound, and a one pound. That makes a five pounds, a 50p, and a 5p. Okay, there you go, done that. Let's have a look at this one. Should be making a five coin, shouldn't I? It's only a small amount. Let's have a think. Well, I could have a one pound. Then how do we get to 70? Well, I could have a 50p, a, a 20p. Now I'm at 70, one pound 70. I'm gonna make it eight. A uh, 5p, uh, 2p gets me to seven. I'm gonna have another one p. I cannot make that one with five coins. Just check your answers and make sure that you got something similar. So you can, you can, you can't, you can. Right, let's move ourselves on and let's have a little look at the key part of this lesson, which is how do I calculate change? Okay, so change. Change, like we said, is the amount that you get given back. Okay, so it's basically, it's gonna be a subtraction. Yeah, I have an amount, Let's say I've got um, uh, an apple here, and if my apple costs 80p, right? If I spend a pound, I'm going to do a pound, take away 80p. So it's basically 100p, take away 80p, because you know a pound is 100p. And we know that 100 take away 80 is 20. So that is kind of the calculation that I'm thinking in my head. I'm thinking, what is one pound? take away 80, and that will work out what change I get. Let me put a few more items up on the board for you. So I've got a uh, banana here, I'm gonna have a little uh, toy car, not very good at drawing toy cars. I'm gonna have a pack of cards, could be match tax I guess, and uh, ooh, I'll have a little bag of um, sweets, because I love myself a bag of sweeties. Right, and let's put some prices on these. So this banana is going to cost £1.15. Uh, I'm going to have my car. It's costing me £2.35. I'm going to have my pack of cards. costing me £1.73. And my bag of sweets are going to cost me £3.56. Okay, so I'm going to pop into the shop and I'm going to spend Two, I've got a two pound coin. I'm going in with a two pound coin to start with. So here is my two pounds coin that I've got. First little challenge for you. Okay, this is one for you to pause on. What items could I buy with a two pound coin? And is it possible for me to buy two items with a two pound coin? Pause. Now you're back, you'll have worked out. I can buy the cards. Um, I'll just write cards on there so we don't forget. I can buy the cards with the two pound coin because one pound seventy three is less than two pounds. I could buy the banana with the two pound coin. One pound fifteen is less. I could buy the apple. Could I buy two items? Well, I can't buy these two because that's going to be more than two pounds. Oh, I could actually buy these two. Okay, so I could buy an apple and a banana with two pounds. Well, actually, I'm going in to start with. I'm going to buy myself uh, a banana. Okay, banana costs one pound fifteen. I spend two pounds. Now I know it's a subtraction question, so I'm gonna look for the difference, and if you remember from previous videos, when I'm doing subtraction, I use the number line. So here is my number line. It is going to cost me one pound 15. I spend with two pounds. All I'm gonna do now is work out the difference to work out my calculation. So if you remember, I start with my number bonds. So I'm gonna add five P, which gets me to one pound 20. And then my number one for 20 is 80p. Oh, and I'm at two pounds straight away. Okay, so it's 85p. So in other words, two pounds minus one pounds 15 equals 85p. Right, let's just try that again, shall we? Let's make sure, because I know that was a little bit easy. Let's make sure that that wasn't just some sort of fluke. Um, let's try by a pack of cards this time. So I'm still going to spend with my two pound coin, I think. Uh, here we go. So uh, pack of cards, one pound 73. I'm buying with a two pound coin. Okay, 
So first I'm going to look at my number bar. Number bar for three is seven. So I'm going to add 7p. That gets me to one pound 80. And oh my goodness, look how easy this is. Now that I'm at 80, I know my number bar for 80 is 20. Add 20p. So one, uh, two pounds, sorry, two pounds. Take away one pound 73 equals zero pounds and 27 pence. Okay, 27p. Right, I guess what I'd like you to do, I'll just write this up here so it's um, clear for you. Two pounds minus one pound 73. What I'd like you to do, and it's kind of a, a challenge just for you to have a go at and make some of your own questions, is imagine you came into the shop, but this time you had a, ooh, you've got a nice juicy, five pound note. Okay, you got a five pound note. What I'd like you to do, pick some items, work out what change you get. So take your five pound note, buy a car. How much change will you get? Do the calculation. Take your five pound note, buy a pack of cards. Do the calculation. If you want to challenge yourself, and this would be really, really good, why don't you pick two items? So see, can you afford two items? You have to work out what the card plus the cards are, work out the answer, and then pay with your five pounds, how much change will you have? And I want you to be using the number line, find out the difference. All right, off you go.